Hello, I'm working on the market waffle hats pattern today and I'm finding that most people if they get stuck at all they get stuck in rounds three and four so I'm just going to put together a quick tutorial here for any of you that are trying this pattern and you're getting stuck. This is the adult size so I've already completed my first two rounds. I've got uh, 10 single crochet and then I increased on this round now I have 20 double crochet. So here we go on round three. So it starts with the chain three which in this pattern counts as a double crochet so just so you know. And now what I'm going to do next is a front post double crochet around the same stitch in the row below. So I'm going around behind that stitch for my post stitch and there you can see what we've got there's the chain three and there's the post stitch and they're both happening with that first stitch so this is just another way of increasing I'm going to be doubling the stitches on this round so I'm going to we're going to go from 20 to 40 so now a regular double crochet in the next stitch and then a front post double crochet in the stitch below it And I'm just going to keep going like that. You can see I'm ending up with a stitch that looks like it's farther back and then forward, back, forward. And eventually that's going to lead us into the waffle design. There's another pair of stitches. Here we go again. There's the double crochet in the normal place in the top of the stitch. And now a front post double crochet, which means I'm going around the back of it to make that post stitch. I'm going to just keep going all the way around and I will meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so here I am at the end of round three. I've got one stitch, pair of stitches left to go, so I'll go ahead and finish that double crochet in the top of the stitch the normal way and then one last post stitch in the row below and just take a look we've got a nice texture you can see how we've got stitches sort of in the back forward back forward all the way around there's 40 stitches all together so I would always recommend that you double check your counting before you move on to the next round and what we're going to do next is join and we're joining with slip stitch. So there's my joined round. Now normally we would chain a few stitches and then turn, but for the waffle pattern to make a waffle pattern, we need to be in a different spot. And so third round calls for an extra slip stitch. Now if you're making one of the smaller sizes like a um, six to nine month size or a newborn size I think this extra slip stitch happens at the end of round two but in the adult size it's happening at the end of round three so it's just just going to the next stitch and doing another slip stitch and you can see where that placed us now we're right above this post stitch that's kind of to the front and that's exactly where we want to be so we're going to go ahead and chain three that's going to count as the first stitch of the next round and then we're going to turn our work so flipping it over and there's our chain three already done the next thing is we're going to do two front post stitches around the next stitch it just happens to be this stitch that's kind of sticking out toward us makes it sort of easy to find so there's one and there's two and then a regular old double crochet in the next stitch now don't miss this stitch back here that's where we're headed with that double crochet sometimes they kind of hide behind the other stitches and now the two front post stitches so you can see we're adding stitches again um, where there used to be four stitches, now we've got six, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. So we're increasing again on this round, and at the end of the round, we'll end up with our 60 stitches. So a regular old double crochet, and then the two front post stitches. And we'll just keep going. So you can see this little pattern that's developing. Now we've got our double crochet that looks like it's in the back and then two post stitches that are toward the front. Back, front, back, front. And if you flip it around just to take a peek, this is what it looks like on the front side. One stitch coming toward you and two toward the back. And you can see that that's starting off our waffle pattern. How exciting. So back to work. Double crochet. Two front post double crochet around the same stitch. Another double crochet. Two around the same stitch and I'm just gonna keep going and I will meet you when we get to the end of the round so here I am at the end of round four and what you'll notice in this round is sometimes your um, piece doesn't want to lay very flat at this point and that's just because we've increased so quickly we went from 10 to 20 to 40 to now 60 stitches in just four rows so it's it's gonna seem a little bit wavy and that's okay because if you if you press it out it goes flat and really as you work the next few rounds you'll see the hat taking shape beautifully so we finish the round there's 60 stitches and we go ahead and join maybe sorry Go ahead and join to the top of the chain three. Okay. And we're ready to turn our work again. And now looking at the front side, hopefully you can see we've got one stitch raised and then the two that we just did as post stitches are kind of in the back and the raised and then the back. And that's exactly how it should look because we want that waffle pattern to start showing up here. We're gonna start this time with a chain two and this does not count as a stitch. We're just doing a chain two to get us in the right height to do our post stitch. You'll notice when we get to the end of this round, we won't even be joining to that chain two. We'll just pretend that it never happened. So we've got our chain two and we're doing a post stitch around this guy that's right in the bottom of it, the one that's kind of sticking forward. And there's no more increases, so this is where it gets easy two double crochets in a row here in these stitches that are kind of in the back and then a post stitch in the next stitch and then two more double crochets in the back two stitches i'll pause in a second here and you can see that our waffle starting to show up So there we've got kind of the sides of the little waffle grids and my next stitch will be a post stitch so that one will be sticking forward too and I'm gonna keep going and I'll meet you at the end of this round so here we are at the end of round five if I press down and flatten this out you can see we've got these little raised areas of stitches and then stitches that are more toward the back and that's giving us the beginning of a nice waffle look the waffle grid and I'm about to do my join and I just want to remind you that we started with a chain two that is not counted as a stitch it was just to get us to the right height so I'm going to ignore the chain two and I'm going to go ahead and join to the top of the um, front post double crochet with my slip stitch and I'm turning and chaining three 
and that takes care of that stitch and for the next two stitches I'm doing post stitches again so the stitches that are kind of sticking up toward me are each getting a post stitch and then the stitch that's sort of in the background here the next stitch it's just a regular double crochet it's kind of the way this pattern works from here on out the stitches that are toward you are the ones that are getting the post stitches around them and then the ones that are in the back get just the double crochet let me do a couple more and then I'll turn the piece around so you can see what's developing because it looks pretty cool ta-da there is that nice horizontal line that finishes off that first little waffle grid and if I keep going you'll see that line will just continue around and I think I've taken you as far as you probably needed help with so I will stop here and hopefully you will be able to complete this market waffle hat thanks